With Grok 3 not even being the state of the art for one full week, Anthropic AI just dropped Claw 3.7 Sonnet, hands down the best coding model ever for a few tests I have ran so far. Alongside probably the most well-rounded release that includes a proper safety guardrail, instant rollout that even I got the access before the announcement. Very, very, very detailed benchmarking, a new command line coding assistant that looks like it would destroy a hundred other AI startups, a strawberry Easter egg to humiliate users for asking it to count how many R's are in the word, and of course, admitting their last naming scheme was horrible for what should have been as Claude 3.6. Like, imagine naming an upgraded model as Claude 3.5 Sonnet bracket new. That was definitely a war crime. But anyways, Claude 3.7's release is a complete breath of fresh air. As it seems like Anthropic has found their mode, in this release, they are completely locked in on improving what their model is best at, which is generating code. This includes the fact that they completely dish maxing out on math and other competition benchmarks because they believe in focusing on real world tasks would better reflect how businesses or people actually use LLMs. So the most striking thing on their benchmark is how its coding capabilities beats all other state of the art models by more than 12% with up to 20% under the perfect environment. Unlike how unclear OpenAI and XAI are when it comes to being transparent about benchmark evaluation methods, Anthropic provided a highly detailed breakdown of how the model achieved the additional 8% accuracy, with 62.3% achieved on the first try and 70.3% on a more refined format. On top of that, they also directly clarified any problems the model encountered, like why the current 3.7 Sonic cannot solve some of the questions, which is due to an incompatible setup. Other than its insane performance leap on coding, it also has a really big improvement on agentic abilities with an 81% success rate at doing anything online shopping related and 58.4% success rate at booking plane tickets. While it was not trained with a focus on maxing out math or reasoning benchmarks, it is still the best performing reasoning model across graduate level reasoning problems, beating Grok 3 by 0.2%. So it is not too far-fetched to call this a new state of the our model. But as expected, 3.7 Sonnet did not perform well on the math benchmarks like Amy compared to the others. And so far, I have been jumping between the benchmarks from two different settings of Claude 3.7 Sonnet. My apologies, but let me clarify. What's unique about this release is that Claude 3.7 Sonnet is actually a hybrid model, and paid users can specify if the model will have extra space for thinking or not. These are labeled on the benchmark as 64k extended thinking versus no extended thinking, with no extended thinking being like a base model. So the unbelievable part of this is they pretty much have a base model beating O3 Mini High on the software engineering benchmark by a staggering 20%. On your chat interface, you can see an option similar to a switch for the hybrid model that allows you to turn 64k tokens of extended thinking on or off. But on their API, you can specify the amount of thinking tokens the model will use for any value up to its output limit of 128k tokens. With 3.7 Sonnet instantly supporting images and PDFs on their chat and a new game GitHub integration, which lets you connect your GitHub repositories to Claude, these are still not the highlight of their release. The best part is actually their new coding tool called Claude Code. It is a command line tool that you can install and can directly read a folder of codes for you, then execute tasks right on the spot. This means you don't need to upload your codes to Claude or integrate it through third-party tools anymore, because this is an official streamlined coding tool straight from Anthropic. So you can have it read your entire repository, explain the basic structure of the files, make general changes over multiple files, create unit tests for your code, help you build your code automatically plus retry when it fails, and even commit updates for you. To add a cherry on top, it'll ask for permissions for every single change you need. Well, according to their demo, of course. But this does look like their first big step towards the direction of agentic computer use. So with these incredible improvements, they are still not charging people 10 times the price. On top of that, Claw 3.7 Sonnet has the same price as its predecessors. $3 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens, which includes thinking tokens. With Claude Code also consumes the same amount of money for each interaction. They estimated the typical usage costs ranges from $5 to $10 per developer per day, but can exceed $100 per hour during intensive use. And of course, if your use case is not as intense, their 3.7 Sonnet model and all the new functions are available for all users, only with the extended thinking mode locked behind a paywall. But hey, at least they did not obfuscate the model's thinking process to prevent people from taking it. And this is all for improving the 
user's experience. On the other hand, they also published a 43-page Claw 3.7 Sonnet system card, mainly going over the safety measures they have done to prevent the model from saying the most unhinged things ever, with some interesting ideas like the increased danger of prompt injection attacks, where they address the vulnerability with public code that can potentially inject harmful instructions into Claw code to exploit your system, along with how they are training Claw to resist and mitigate these problems. So far, I have tested 3.7 Sonnet for around an hour on the code of an upcoming project I am working on for my patrons, and I gotta say, it is really promising. To keep it short, I asked it to identify function mismatch between all my files. All three mini high got two, grok three got one, and 3.7 Sonic got three, with two extra for typing errors. This gave me some pretty high hopes for Claude code, and I might make another video reviewing it, so stay tuned. And if you enjoyed these types of cutting edge news, you should check out my newsletter where I cover the latest in the GCS research papers that I might not have the time to cover in video. So if you enjoy learning about the cutting edge of AI, definitely give that a look. Thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to Andrew Laschelius, Chris Ledoux, Deegan, Migulim, Robert Zaviasa, Louis Muck, Ben Shainer, Marcelo Ferreria, Zion Sheep, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.